Hello everyone and welcome to yet another video of Tutorials Point. Well, we've been discussing quite a lot about interview questions and the best way to answer them. Well, how about the situations wherein you are asked a brain teaser in a technical interview? How do you answer that? Well, in this video, we are going to discuss some important tips and tricks which you've got to keep in mind while you're answering certain brain teasers in a technical interview. So let's go ahead. Okay, now first of all, the most important thing which you need to keep in mind is, I mean, whenever the interviewer ends up asking you any, uh, you know, brain teaser is that understand what the interviewer wants. Well, it is very, very important for you to be cognizant of the fact that it's not that the interviewer is sitting there maybe just to judge your calculating abilities or, uh, you know, to see how accurate are you with the results. Well, not really. There is much more than that what the interviewer is looking for, right? So the interviewer actually wants to see are you able to maintain your wits even if you are, um, you know, kind of uh, suddenly you, you, you're shot with a question which you have no clue about? Or do you panic? Or is it that you kind of get way too carried away while, while solving it? Or do you have certain logics in place to get the answer right? No matter even if, um, you know, it really doesn't matter even if uh, your answer is not as accurate and, you know, as to the point, but what is more important is whether the logic that you're able to derive to solve a particular problem, is that logic fair enough? So these are the various things which the interviewer is looking for, which is much, much more than just a simple maths exam, right? So it's your logic with get with which, you know, comes into picture, the way you handle yourself, do you remain calm and composed? Do you, uh, you know, do you do you maintain your wits when all of a sudden it's it's something just out of the blue for you? So all these are the things which you need to be cognizant of while you are answering a brain teaser in a technical interview, right? So just no matter what question comes your way. You don't worry, you don't have to worry about calculating just the most precise answer. Rather, maintain your wits, stay calm, stay focused, and then, um, you know, the logic which you end up calculating would contribute better to your success compared to the answer that you derive. Okay. Now, another very, very important factor which, um, you know, the interviewer is actually testing you, testing whether you are, whether, whether you, do you have those qualities or not, which the interviewer is kind of trying to find out in you, is the ability to listen, right? Because listening is the most important, uh, you know, character which is needed to derive the most logical calculations, right? So you really have to pay very close attention to the minute details which the interviewer is putting forward while he or she is asking you that question. So be very careful to listen, you know, each and every word that comes out of the interviewer's mouth. So not just that, there is no harm in you know, asking or, or clarifying the question just in case you, you know, you feel the need for it. There is no harm in that. Rather than you losing your wits all of a sudden and completely becoming nervous and completely consumed uh, by that situation, it would definitely be a better idea to listen very carefully in, you know, the most calm and composed way that you can and just in case you need to clarify something, just go ahead with it. Do not shy away from that because you never even know if, you know, you probably did not clarify what was probably any confusion which was there in your mind. You might just end up um, calculating it using the wrong logic. So do not forget to listen and clarify if you feel the need for that. Okay, yes, that is right. Take your time 
as much time that you want well of course that doesn't mean you're gonna sit there for the entire day but do take your time do not be in that hustle bustle to just finish it off because you know um, more than solving that question there would be probably thousand emotions running down your brain you probably would be thinking oh my god is the interviewer judging me is the interviewer thinking that i'm just I, i'm 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 dumb i'm not able I'm, i can't solve this or is he or she um you know kind of thinking that i don't have enough logical mindset to to solve this problem well keep all of this trash away from your mind because that is the time wherein you just need to focus and just stay in the present without thinking anything about any judgments whatsoever might just come to your mind so take your time calm down relax probably take a deep breath and then go ahead and solve okay well yes it definitely is a very very good idea to state your assumptions just in case you know you the interviewer just ended up asking you some brain teaser let us assume the interviewer just asked you okay how many uh, uh, tennis balls do you think can fit into this room well that again is a uh, kind of a brain teaser right definitely he or she is not looking forward to an accurate answer from you but as as i already told you there's that logic or there's your body language that the interviewer is more interested in knowing compared to the exact accurate answer so do not forget to state your assumptions because when you state your assumptions it makes things better clear right so then you it, it it would definitely be a good idea if you just state okay well let us assume the volume of per ball is let us say x or the volume of this room is this and then you know basis that assumption whatever approximate answer that you have calculated it definitely would be a great idea to state it i mean while you're in that process of of solving that question well along with the um, you know clarity it would also give the interviewer an impression that you are a person who very very who solves stuff in a very very organized and a logical way so do not forget to state your assumptions okay yes a very very good idea which not only applies to just uh um, you know mathematical problems but it also applies to general problems which might just come your way um just in case you end up getting that job so it is a very good idea or it would uh, you know help you a lot if you break down the problem into smaller chunks and then go ahead and solve that well now you can very well understand as to what is the interviewer trying to understand while he or she is seeing you solve that answer so the interviewer wants to know what is your problem handling strategy so you know are you that kind of person who just loses it all if all of a sudden some problem just comes up or are you that person who maintains his or her calm and then designs a proper you know solution way out of that problem or what is your problem solving strategy is what the interviewer precisely wants to know so this i mean while you are busy solving uh you know the problem which which the interviewer has given you it definitely is a very good idea to break it down because then definitely i mean mathematically as well it is going to reduce any chances of error while you're solving that answer okay well yes do not forget to round up the numbers because obviously as i told you it's not that you know the interviewer wants to know the exact answer to point you know to even even to the degree of decimal numbers well it is definitely a good idea to round up your numbers because as it is it is all assumption based uh, solution that you are doing right so when you round up your numbers it makes your uh, calculation because as it is it's all calculation uh, i mean kind of mental maths thing which is going on so your calculations are far more simplified if you end up rounding your numbers okay and last but not the least do calculate on a paper you can definitely lend a piece of paper and pen from the interviewer and there is absolutely no harm in that because it 
if while you're busy calculating on paper it definitely gives you a better uh, clarity or you do not end up getting confused or you do not end up just by chance missing any particular step so definitely using a pen and paper would be a great idea so friends here in this video we have discussed certain tips and tricks which are going to help you a lot to solve brain teaser questions without breaking your head in a technical interview and just remember that more than the answer that you're going to derive the interviewer is much more interested in knowing your problem solving capabilities and how is it that you you know behave when all of a sudden something just out of the way or you know out of the blue comes your way and how is it that you maintain your calm and how composed would you be while you are busy um, you know kind of solving any uh, big issue that comes your way so just remember these tips and tricks which we discussed here so that your interview turns out to be a huge success so friends all the best for any interview that is going to come your way in the coming time we will see you again in the next video till that time keep learning with tutorials point and tutorials have a good day